we're going to drill a hole. We're going to try to drill a hole. The socket for a flagpole. And I haven't had a place to put a flagpole for a long time. So that's the start of the second project. So let's see if we can drill a hole. Oh, and one more thing. I did call dig safe. And it turns out that those fly, those pipes, I don't know if you can see them, are way up on my property here and go way down that way. So it's a good thing I called. Let's dig out a hole. Draw a hole. Let's try to. This is attempt number two. I've certainly demonstrated that I don't know how to um, drill a hole. This hole is for our flagpole, which I've always wanted. Uh, we drilled a six inch hole. It kind of went off at an angle. It did hit some stones. We got a 12 inch auger, auger on here now, and I'm gonna put it in the, and then I'm, the hole, and then I'm gonna back up a little bit so it goes that way and see how that works. I know it's not a straight hole. I don't know how to do this, and I'm just trying to learn it. Oh, okay. They say dig a hole approximately six inches deeper than the supplied sleeve. We're not six inches deeper, but we got plenty of hole there. This is just temporary. We're going to put a whole planning there, and this will be in the planning. I just want to get the flagpole up because I know it's going to be a while before I get to this. So they want the hole 18 to 24 inches in diameter. Well, I'm about a foot. Uh, put six inches of rock in the bottom for drainage. We're going to do that. And then what we're going to do, what they want you to do is put concrete around the outside. But because this is temporary, I'm just going to put gravel around the outside and I'll be careful not to load the pole with a, a big flag in, in windy conditions. So what we want to do is try to get this as level as possible. And I'll put a little gravel on the bottom and that'll stabilize it and then we can work our way up. Okay, let's see where we're at. Okay, yeah, check this thing. 90 degrees apart. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not good. Good. Okay, let's put some more gravel in there.
it's not 100% critical that this be completely vertical because I get a final adjustment when I put the pole in here and put sand in there. What you do is put the pole in, you put sand in there, and then you flood it with water, and you can move the pole around to where you want it. Then you put stakes at the top to hold it. You let the, drain, the sand drain out, and you got a good solid base. Well, that one came up beautiful. It was this one. Well, one side is one way and one side is the other. That's interesting. Well, it is what it is. Okay, we got a little gravel in the bottom of the, the uh, tube like they asked for drainage. This thing is filled with a full bucket of gravel. The uh, ground is a sandy, rocky ground, so I'm pretty confident that that'll be fine temporarily. We're gonna move it down to the planter. I have to go get some sand now. We'll put the tools away, we'll put some sand in there, and we'll raise the flagpole. That's good right there. Let's take this stuff off the outside. Here, come here. So you start unwrapping that, I'll go to the next one. I'm disappointed there's a seam. All right, so I think all we do is we push this together like that and then onto that. Okay. Oh, and there's a seam here. Turn this. At least. I guess. There we go. There's a loose end someplace. This is a loose end. Looks like a knot for me. I think they gave me enough rope. <laughs> Does this go on there? Yeah, no, we're gonna put those on until it's up. All right. There's one person who holds the collar up out of the way, one person's holding the levels 90 degrees apart, and I'm gonna put sand in there so that the pole is level. So if we gotta pick it up and move it in its, its sleeve, we can. You have to, look, it's on the phone. So what we got is we got two levels on the flagpole uh, at 90 degrees apart so we can get uh, the flagpole upright in both this plane and this plane. And now what we're going to do is put some shims in here at the bottom to hold the flagpole temporarily in place while I put some sand in. 
more over here away from the road. More trim away from the road. So move the pole towards the road? Okay. Alright. How many do we have? Like lots. Alright, now what we have to do is put the sand in, in the hole. Well, what we may have to do is put water in it. Yeah, you're gonna have to put water in it. You want me to go get the salt hose? Hose, yep. Well, I got mine must be full. Okay, there we go. That'll settle. It'll probably settle crooked and we'll have to, have to fix it. But. So. Uh, you gotta go the other way. Yeah, so this is the top, so this is the side that comes down. So I know I need to clip. And now I need to know where it goes. Let's spread the spread it. Yeah, I know that, but you can spread it apart. So, don't don't let it hit the ground. Put it over my shoulder. Will you put it over my shoulder? Oh, that's it. There we go. Now which one's the top? Oh no. This one's the top. So we go like this. Did you always know how to do this? Yeah. Oh, maybe from a Boy Scout. Okay. Did you guys have a flag at your house? No. Is that good? Oh, that looks okay. Right. Yeah, it's not perfect. Um, all right, hold on. Let me see if the battery's still going here. Here we are at the end of another project. Flag pole's been up for six months. Even with the temporary base of the uh, number two crusher run gravel, uh, it's still straight up and down. It's been through some pretty hefty winds, and we flagged two flags off this pole. 